the best children's playgrounds in Irvine, California. I'm Chris, this is The Traveling Princess, and during the pandemic, she has been doing some intensive research of playgrounds. We visited two or three every weekend for the last few months, and she is going to show you what her favorite playgrounds in Irvine are in this video. The first playground we're starting at, she's looking at it right there. It's a playground in Heritage Park. Let's take a look. So what makes this playground one of the best? Well, first of all, it has a lake view in this park, which is pretty neat. Traveling Princess likes to see the ducks. We're swaying here on the sway fun. And now if we look over this way, there's a big play structure over there, a few big play structures. And then if we look over that way, there's even a little splash pad in this park. So you've got just about everything in one park right here. So this is pretty neat right here. This is a two person, wait, four person seesaw. And everything in this park has a bit of a nautical theme from seahorses to sea lions to dolphins. Pretty fun. What do you think? <laughs> okay, next up, the Traveling Princess is gonna show us around Castle Northwood. This park is in the Northwood community of Irvine at the Northwood Community Center. And this park is designed to look like a castle. Now, the best way to storm the castle for sure is over the drawbridge. Then you come to the bridge with low clearance. Then if you go under the bridge, you'll get back to the main playground again. But if you turn left and stay on the outside, you'll be on this multi-tier sand playground. This is the first time I've ever seen a sand playground on a castle. Traveling Princess is just walking up the castle here, and now we are on the castle walls. This is pretty fun. And from the top of the castle, you can see there are five different play structures down here. Most of them have some version of shade. The Traveling Princess sees something down there. What does she see? She sees the little kitty play structure down there. You will find a play structure for every age at this place. Little kids, big kids, there are five total slides. You can see she's not the only one here having fun. Next up, the Traveling Princess is gonna show you around the Adventure Playground. This playground has been in Irvine since the 1970s. This playground is unlike no other because every time it's a little different playground. In addition to having a big play set they've got these bricks that they set up to make castles kids can play in the mud with excavators every time it's a little bit different she's not quite sure what she wants to go to next i think she wants to go to this digger and do some digging what will your kids do when they come here I guess you'll just have to find out. One of the nice things about the Adventure Playground, it's really big. There's a lot of space here, though all the kids are congregated around that big play structure we were looking at earlier. It's nice because of the walls. You don't have to worry about your kids running out into the street or into a parking lot. And if you do plan to come here, please note they do have open and closing hours, something like 10 a.m. to 5 or 6 p.m., depending upon the season. If there's a problem with the Adventure Playground is that lots of people like to come here. So there's lots of kids running around, especially in that big play structure. So if you bring yours, make sure you watch them closely. And the fourth best playground is the children's playground at Bill Barber Memorial Park. This is the park right next to the Irvine City Hall and I think as far as playgrounds go this is likely the biggest of all all of the children's playgrounds in Irvine. And what's really neat is actually a set of interconnected playgrounds and play structures that connect on multiple levels with multiple walkways. They've also got shade sails, and so if you want your kiddos to be able to use the swings in the shade, this is the place to do it. And extra cool, if your kiddos are night owls, well, this playground is illuminated at night, so nighttime in the winter, no problem here. Bell Explorers, the final great playground in Irvine is at the Green Great park, the place with the big orange balloon. The playground is just right behind it, right over there. One of the defining characteristics is the two story towers with two double slides. There's lots of other little playgrounds here, including a natural playground, a sand pit, a ropes course, and a zip line for the bigger kids, which is pretty cool. One of the Traveling Prince's favorite toys here was the really low tech balance obstacle course. This park is super kids friendly. They've even padded the wall water fountain so kids won't run into it and get hurt. Particularly neat about this park, a lot of the toys are toys you just don't see in other parks in the area, though the one kind of con is that there's only two swings and they're swings of the baby variety. But in addition to the playground, you can ride that giant balloon. It goes up on weekends. Uh, admission is free, but you gotta get here early. And there's a carousel, $3 a ride or $10 
all day. Well, so now that you've watched this video, hopefully you've got some places to take your little one to have some fun. Well, fellow explorers, if you enjoyed this video and you're looking forward to more adventures of the Traveling Princess, well, you can click right here for her entire channel, Just of the Traveling Princess Adventures. And as usual, we won't say goodbye because we'll see you tomorrow.